just brewed a cup of this and it is so good definitely recommend i think i got the perfect pour as well so i mean this is just like a blend so it's coffee and not espresso but i think it tastes really good coming from the espresso machine this one is definitely my favorite but this one might be taking this place i did want to share my thoughts on this just in case you guys have this machine or thinking about getting this machine this one's really good and of course the other one that i got is really good as well I think I like maple bacon and candy cane the best because I don't know what I'm tasting with white Christmas. My turn? Yeah. <laughs> Should I try for maple bacon? Yeah. I think I like that one the best. Just wait till you try gingerbread cookie. You don't even taste. taste. Maple bacon just tastes like regular coffee. Yeah. Yeah. Really have any. There's like no bacon flavor, and I thought that's what I was gonna taste. Okay. I wasn't. I was expecting gingerbread cookie to kind of taste like sugar cookie from Starbucks, to be honest. White Christmas. And then white Christmas, I didn't know what I was tasting. Burrito? No, I know that's not yours, but I only have two hands. You just carry it out. So if you want it, you know, that's you. Okay. Um, what are you tasting there? I don't taste anything. Sorry about that. I'm going to grab you guys a pastry. It's It's just, I don't know. You know? I, it, again, it's, I think it's just very normal, generic coffee. Coffee? Yeah. But it has like something on top of it. Now, oh, candy can. <laughs> you hate that. I actually like that one. It's like a it's minty like coffee, coffee though. It's like coffee. No, it does not. It's like kind of like a minty coffee. Right, that's my least favorite. Peppermint. Gingerbread cookie is my first favorite. These are tied for second. Okay. Third. third. Okay. Oh, let me give my my ratings too. Oh. <laughs> this is a six point three out of ten. Okay. So technical. Basic coffee, nothing to it. Mm-hmm. We're gonna give this an. We're gonna give this a seven point seven. Okay. Pretty good. Got some good, good sweetness, good flavor. No, ten out of ten. This right here, we're gonna give it a six point three. Okay. Basic kind of taste. I like thought they were tied though. These two. They were 6.3 for both? Yeah. Okay. This, 3.1, tastes like cough syrup. Rubber tussin. No. <laughs> Some caffeine in it. <laughs>
okay so this company Redmond I think that's how you say it reached out to me to send me some stuff for me to test out and show you guys so I got a blender and their toaster in the cream color and they're so cool they're like retro looking and they have multiple different colors so if cream is not your color that's totally fine I think they have like pink blue cream there could be more colors but I'm gonna make a smoothie and I wanted to make it for you guys on camera and use the new blender so and then I'll show you the toaster as well and then it comes with two show you the different levels so I'll show you They're over here this is the toaster I plugged it in to activate it you just go like that and it's touch screen so you can up the dosage that way and then cancel it right there but I think it's so cool it has different settings you can toast defrost reheat and then your level of toastiness and then it has a timer that counts down for you which I love and you can just cancel it like that look how cool this looks so it comes with a little ice cube tray two cups lids to put on the cups and then obviously the blade but look how cute it is it reminds me of the smeg brand but at a fraction of the cost so let's make a smoothie. This is what I'm gonna put in my smoothie, baby spinach, half a lemon. I'm gonna take the skin off. Celery, cucumber, ginger, and then some frozen mango. I think it'll be really good. So let's try it out. Okay. made a pretty good juice so I'm gonna sip on this I also have a 20% off for you guys so if you want to check out Redmond appliances like their toaster or their blender or both you can use Lauren 20 at checkout I'll link the website down below in the description box and I'll also put the coupon code there as well I think this is the perfect size blender for apartments or dorms if you're in college, anything like that. So I will link it down below. Definitely check it out. Okay, I just washed the bed sheets and I'm making the bed, but I wanted to give you a pillow update, which is the last pillow update ever. <laughs> I should probably remove this stuff, but I got the foam pillow from Casper in the mail and... I guess I'm a foam pillow girl because this is it. This is the pillow. It's super supportive. It's low to the bed, so I'm not like pushing my head forward. It's comfortable for back and side. I don't know about stomach sleepers. I wouldn't recommend. So I'll link it down below. I think they're still, I'm not sure if they're still doing their Black Friday, Cyber Monday sale because it has been a little bit since that sale but I'll link it down below just in case you're in the market for a new pillow but this is the pillow I wanted to give it a few days before I threw out the box I've kept the box in the corner of the room because I was worried that this wasn't gonna be it but it was it it's really heavy so if you're not into that you won't like this pillow but it is super supportive I love it so I'll link it that's the pillow update last pillow update I didn't want to leave you guys hanging just in case you were curious if the pillow was good or not so it was good so i'll link it i'm making some bruschetta toasts i guess with the ciabatta rolls that i got yesterday at trader joe's this bruschetta sauce and this fresh mozzarella these are what the rolls look like Every time I try. Um, this is what they look like when they come out of the oven. I put them on broil for the last minute. Sorry if you can hear Christian in the background on his video game, but this is what they look like. I think they're, they're, they're gonna be good. It's three ingredients. They have to be good. I'm gonna watch some 
YouTube videos, Christian's, I closed the door to that room because he's just on his video game. But we have our tree lit. We've had it lit all day. And if you can hear that, we have laundry going. Just gonna sit here and relax. Okay, this is what we're doing for dinner. We're about to put this in the oven and it's gonna take about an hour to make. And then we'll have the leftover peppers for lunch tomorrow. And then I'll probably meal prep our lunches for the rest of the week tomorrow when I get home from work. This is my first year doing an advent calendar ever. I've never did these growing up. I don't know why. My parents never got them for me or anything and I haven't done them in the past, but I keep forgetting to do it. So I think I'm behind. So I think I need two today. I don't know. But I got this one from Trader Joe's. They don't have it anymore because I was in there yesterday and they didn't have any more advent calendars. Um, I need to open two, two of them, two days, because I keep forgetting. And they're just pieces of chocolate. I wish it was a fun one. <laughs> but they're pieces of chocolate in different shapes. This is a present. So that's one treat. Here's another one. <laughs> And then this is a train. Cute. So that's my, <laughs> my after dinner treat. Nothing better than getting into clean bed sheets on a Sunday night for a work week. I promise you, nothing better. Also, my silk pillowcase for my king size pillow came in. I do not know how to get this pillowcase to not wrinkle. You're not supposed to dry them, so I hang it to dry, hence the line from it hanging over a hanger. But I just do not know how to get this to be smooth because you wash it in a washer bag and then it's all crumpled up when you pull it out. So I don't know how to get it to be smooth, but let me tell you, there is nothing better than this also i sleep with this blanket every single night this is like i think i had it for four years christian got it for me for christmas like our first christmas together this is what i asked for a barefoot dreams blanket and i think that's what it is the barefoot dreams cozy chic blanket it is literally the best blanket i have ever had i've slept with it literally every single night for f this will be how many years three years i guess this is, our, this is our fourth christmas together so three years i guess not four it's so good it's so soft so comfy it's like stretchy in a way i don't know how to describe it it's just my favorite blanket and we also finally got a duvet cover i am very glad that no one commented no one has ever commented on the fact that we literally just had a like comforter or like a duvet on the bed for a year and a half and nothing else we finally got a duvet cover christian is so picky with sheets and i'm not like i really don't care what sheets we have but he's like so picky like our bed sheets have to be they're super super soft and cooling i i do love them don't get me wrong but he will not sleep on anything else other than this and these you cannot find but they like tear after a little while in the center so you have to continuously replace them because they tear really easily but just wanted to go ahead and end off this vlog my remote is all the way across the room i'm gonna watch a few youtube videos 
and then go to bed just wanted to end off this vlog and tell you that the best way to start a work week is with clean bed sheets so i hope you guys enjoyed thanks for watching and i will see you in my next video bye